Three bond coatings are designed to stick to the oils in the asphalt. This makes surface preparation important as any dirt, debris, or contaminants not cleaned can affect adhesion. To clean the surface, use a stiff broom and an air blower. The combination of brooming the loose debris and blowing it off the surface works well. Areas that have caked on debris, extremely fine dust, or that are extremely dirty may need to be power washed. Vehicle fluids need to be cleaned using an environmentally friendly degreasing solution and thoroughly rinsed off to remove the fluids and the degreasing solution. Any cleaning with water needs to be done well in advance of coating as the surface needs to be completely dry before coating is applied. Masking is used to avoid overspray and to create nice clean edges. Duct tape or other appropriate tape will stick to the asphalt is placed to create a crisp edge of coating. Plastic or thick roofing type paper can be attached to the duct tape to mask off areas and objects. Masking shields, like thin plywood or rigid plastic, can be also used. They can be held in place and moved. Regardless of what is used, the objective is to create clean, aesthetically pleasing lines and to not get coating on surrounding areas. Mixing the coating is easy. Coatings like Street Bond 150, which are sold in buckets, get mixed in the bucket. Simply add the small container of Part B and Street Bond colorant, unless of course the coating is already pre-tinted. The Part B container is a one quart container, and in most weather conditions you will simply fill it with water and add the one quart of water to the bucket. Street Bond Sem Base is sold differently and therefore mixed differently. When mixing this coating, you will need a bucket. Add the resin to the bucket and add water to the empty resin jug. Fill to the half marker in most situations, except in hot temperatures, you can add a little bit more to the top of the label. Filling to the top of the label is the maximum water content. With both coatings, adding too much water will thin the coating too much and can result in installation and performance problems. Add the colorant and rinse out the container using the water to be added to the bucket. At this point, you add the dry side. The easiest way to mix the dry side into the resin is to add it during the mixing. Mixing both coatings needs to be done with a specialty Jiffler mixer using a high-powered electric drill. Before spraying, the coating should be strained to remove any material clumps and bucket chippings that can get transferred through the spray gun and onto the ground. Understanding your spray equipment is critical in placing coatings. There are dedicated videos and information on the equipment to ensure proper knowledge. Coatings can be installed very quickly on most areas, but productivity is all about being prepared. The coating is sprayed in circular patterns and broomed immediately. Brooming the coating drives coating into the asphalt voids and helps create a good mechanical bond with the asphalt. As well, it distributes the coating evenly on the surface. The coating has a tendency to flow to the lowest point, so brooming the coating out of the grout lines is important for this reason as well. Excessive coating in the grout line will result in a poor looking finished product and will obviously have less surface build. The coatings are applied in layers. Once the first layer of coating is dry to the touch, spray the second, third, and if needed, fourth layer following the same process. Spraying 90 degrees to the previous layer will result in the most even coverage. On flat asphalt, the last layer of coating can be distributed by a roller instead of a broom. This can create a consistent texture to the surface. Coverage rates for street bond coatings are all approximates. Pavement porosity and the density of street print pattern will slightly affect the coverage rates. In general though, one unit of coating over a textured surface will cover 200 square feet or 18.6 square meters when applying three layers of coating and 150 square feet or 13.4 square meters when applying four layers. On non-textured or flat surfaces, your coverage is slightly higher per unit at 225 square feet or 20.9 square meters using three layers or 175 square feet or 16.3 square meters when applying the coating in four layers. For further information, Please refer to any of the coating installation guides. It is always recommended to review the coating installation guides before installing the coating. Thanks for watching the Street Mon training video. 